Hey, hey, who's excited? All right, so um, if you are watching this video, that means that you've already watched the video on how to put the clarinet together. If you have not watched that, make sure you go back and you watch it because it is so important that you put it together correctly and especially that you put the reed together correctly. If the reed is not on there the right way, um, it's probably going to make it squeak or you're not gonna be able to make a sound. So really make sure um, that you've got the reed on the right place. So if you need to watch that video again, go ahead and do so. Okay, so the first thing that we need is to make sure that we're getting the right sound. So you don't even have to worry about where you're holding it right now in this video. You can just take your left hand and hold um, the barrel right here. And then um, with your right hand, you can just hold on to the bottom piece. And what you're gonna do is you're going to get a nice sound on the clarinet. Now notice, I licked my reed. And that was because um, if you feel like your reed starts to get dry, sometimes it makes it really hard to make a noise on it. So um, if you need to like lick it to get it wet, that's totally fine. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do, you're gonna cover your bottom teeth just like that. And then you're going to <laughs> Cover your bottom lip with the clarinet and you're gonna put about This much in the clarinet If you put too much It's definitely gonna squeak if you put too little it will probably squeak or you won't be able to get a sound out at all So just about right here Which I would say is about maybe like a third of the way on and um you are, so you're gonna curl the bottom lip, you can put the clarinet in, and then your teeth go on top. So curled bottom lip, teeth on top, and then you're just gonna seal it up so no air gets out. Um, it should all be going down into your clarinet. So go ahead and try. If it squeaks, it's okay, you're just starting. Um, but you're gonna wanna keep practicing so that you can get a good sound. So go ahead and pause this video until you get the sound that you are looking for. Um, again, make sure you curl your bottom lip, your teeth are on top, you don't let any air out on the sides, it's all going down your clarinet. And when you go to play, you're going to think too, too, just like we talked about on the recorders. And um, if you just go you're gonna get tired, but it's also not going to sound as, as, um, as good, it's not gonna be as focused. So make sure you try to make that two sound. So here's if I don't do who, if I don't do two, and I just blow. Now if I tongue and I go two, it's gonna sound different. Hopefully you can hear that. So when you're tonguing on the clarinet, your tongue is actually kind of going against the reed and going ta, ta, ta. Not just on the tip, not the tip, but right here. Ta, ta, ta. So try to get a nice sound on the clarinet and see if you can um, tongue the notes as well. All right, so now let's talk about holding the clarinet. So these are where your fingers go most of the time, like in general. So if you look back here, there on the back of the clarinet, there's just this thumb rest, there's one hole and there's one key. So your left hand is going to go on that, that only hole in the back of the clarinet. And then on the front of the clarinet, you've got these open holes, so one, and this is an open hole, this is a closed hole, you can see it's like covered. So you wanna to go to the open one, and then the open hole right here. That's where your three fingers would go. Your pinky's got all kinds of stuff it can do. So right now I'm just gonna keep it in the air. <laughs> so I've got my thumb back here, and three fingers. That's where they go, for the most part, on the clarinet. All right, so now, my bottom hand, my right hand, I'm going to take my thumb, and it's going to go on this thumb rest back here, See the thumb rest? Now, I'm not going to put my thumb way out. I'm just gonna put it in under just a little bit, about where the nail, where the nail, at the bottom of the nail, where the nail meets your finger there, the bottom of the nail. So, looking at it like this, 
you can see about where the nail is um, and how it's kind of lining up with the thumb rest. You don't want to go way out here. It definitely has to be more here. Um, and then, so my fingers here are going on the holes. So this one's covered, so I don't use that one. I do the ones that have holes. So one, two, three. And the pinky has all kinds of stuff it can do, so I'm gonna keep it in the air. So I've got one, two, three, one, two, three. And I've got my thumb rest back here, and my thumb is on this hole. So all together, it looks like this. All right, so now we wanna look at our music, and what I would do is set up your stand or wherever you're putting the music. Um, try to set it up so you've got your fingering chart and then you've got your band packet. Um, we're gonna look at number one, and this is a C, and you can see that it's below the staff and it's got that line through it. So that's a C, and this is a whole note, so it gets four beats. And then of course we have our whole rest, which gets four beats as well. And if you go down, they're all C's through number four. So like this is a C, except it's a half note, so it gets two beats, which hopefully you remember from music class. And then the half rest, which gets two beats. Then here we've got quarter notes, still C's, except they get one beat. And then number four, you can see we've got a bunch of quarter notes and then we've got a quarter rest, which gets one beat of rest. So you might be wondering, okay, well, how do I finger the C? Well, you can always go over to your fingering chart and you can look. So here is a C and you can see what it looks like. If you go over here, ah, there's a C and it looks the same. And you can go ahead and circle it if you would like. And then you can kind of see from the picture. So this, this part back here is the back of the clarinet. And so that's that thumb hole that I showed you. And then this is the front of the clarinet. So the top, it goes from the top down. So like this is my left hand and it's going to be one, two, three. And then there's nothing on the right hand. All right, so let me play some of these for you. Hey, okay, so I'm all set to play them. So I'm gonna play number one, which is a C. So remember, I've got one, two, three on the open holes. My thumb is back here covering the hole, and then my um, right hand, right hand, um, the thumb is holding onto the thumb uh, rest. And then these fingers are just kind of hanging out. Um, so, on this side, if you will get any squeaks or it's not sounding very nice, it's okay. Remember, we're practicing. We're, um, you, you may have to do things several times until you get it to sound just right, and that's okay. That's why we practice. Um, so here are a couple tips, though. If it's sounding squeaky, of course, the first thing you need to look at is the reed, that the reed's in the right spot, and then your placement of how you have it in your mouth. Make sure it's not too much in your mouth or not enough in your mouth. And then you're also going to make sure that your fingerings are cut your fingers are covering the holes completely. Just like on the recorder, if your fingers are not covered completely, it's going to squeak or not sound very nice. So really kind of hold down, make sure you can feel those holes underneath. So here's number one with a C. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. Now notice at the very end, there's a repeat sign. There are two dots and two lines. So that means I have to play it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so now let's look at number two. Number two has the half note, so I'm holding it for two beats. Number two. Now don't forget, you can pause the video at any time and you can practice them on your own and then go on to the next video. That's definitely what I would suggest. Do number, um, watch number one, practice it. Watch number two, practice it, and so on. Here is number three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, repeat sign. One, two, 
three, four. All right, so now we're on to number four. There are five quarter notes before we do our quarter rest. Rest, 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 rest. All right, so happy practicing on those C's. Um, I get really good at those before we go on to number five through eight where we add a new note. All right, so now let's look at number five through number eight. So number five is also below the, the note is below the staff, but it doesn't have that line through it like C did. It's just sitting right below the bottom line. This is a D. And we've got half note, half note, and then a dotted half note. And hopefully you remember from music class that that gets three beats. Okay. So then we want to look at the fingering and you can just jump over here and find the note that looks the same. So we've got D and you can see it's got the thumb and then this time it just has fingers one and two down. So C had three fingers, D has two fingers. And it looks like this on the recorder, thumb, or on the recorder, on the clarinet, sorry. Thumb and then fingers one and two. So thumb, one and two. And then remember C has three fingers. D only has two, plus your thumb. <laughs> Three plus your thumb, and then two plus your, plus your thumb, and that's the D. All right, so now let's look at these other ones before I play for you. So here's number six, and this has eighth notes in it. So um, hopefully you remember that the eighth notes, two eighth notes equal one beat, so they're gonna be faster than our quarter notes. So these are all Ds. And we would go like this, do, 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 day, do, 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 day, do, do, day, do, day, do, do, do. All right, then we skip down here to number seven, and now we've got Ds and Cs. And hopefully you can see the difference between the D and the C. D and the C, and then don't forget the repeat sign. And then the last one that you're going to practice as number eight. And this one just goes back and forth between D's and C's. All right, so let me play them for you. Okay, so we are gonna do number five first with our D. So we've got thumb and two fingers. And I'm still holding support down here with my thumb. Number five. <laughs> Then I'm gonna go on to number six with the eighth notes. Really make sure that you are um, tonguing those notes. It's gonna be way easier to play the eighth notes if you're tonguing them. Number six. Okay, so number seven. Now we get to go back and forth between D and C. D and C. Thumb down for both of those. All right, number seven. And then number eight, your last one. And this one goes back and forth between the D and the C. And the way that I keep track of these is by counting the number of notes in the measure. So this one, um, every measure has four beats in it. So I just think to myself while I'm playing, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, three, rest. And that helps me to keep track so I don't get lost um, in all of those D's and Z's. So here we go, number eight. Okay, so what I would like you to do is make a video of number four and number eight. 
for me, number four and number eight. Um, what you can do is when you're recording these, of course I want you to practice all of them, but then um, those are the ones I want you to share with me on Seesaw. And you may have to do the video several times and that's totally cool because remember, practicing is what's going to help us get better. So if you make the video and it's an, you don't think it's worthy of sending, then that's fine, delete it, do it again. Um, and keep going until you get one that um, you would be proud to send to me so that I can watch. So again, that's number four and number eight. All right, happy practicing.